Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So basically here we discuss everything, career progression for nurses, midwives, carers, student nurses in and out of the UK. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you an update about the Nursing and Welfare Council um, decision on English language test for overseas nurses and midwives. So basically over the years, um, it's been well known that the UK is really acutely um, short of nursing staff. So basically as we speak, there are currently, well, it is currently reported that there are about 57,000 nursing vacancies in the UK, 57,000 nursing vacancies. That is like a ridiculous number. But what I'm going to say from experience is that looking at the real situation on ground, there are definitely way more vacancies than that. Or should I, or better still, let me say, the UK needs way more nurses. They need, in fact, over 100,000 nurses. If I have to be honest, to really make the numbers. And for us that are actually working, to feel the impact of the recruitment. We need over 100,000 nurses, and that is my own personal opinion, but official figures obviously say 57,000 nurses. So the Nursing and Rural Council did a consultation um, that went on for about eight, for eight weeks, actually. Um, it ended not long ago. And so that consultation was about easing English tests so that more overseas nurses can move to the UK. Because even though the UK is in need, and yes, there are, they are currently recruiting thousands and thousands of nurses are coming to the UK every single day. That's still not enough because the English language requirements are so um, obviously strict that many people are keen to work in the UK, but they're not really able to get the required grades for ALT or OET. So ALT is obviously the International English Language Test. If you want to work in the UK as a foreign nurse, you must write this test and have the required grace that the NMC requests. And currently, I think it's like a 6.5 in writing, a 7 overall score, and a 7 in all the other sections. So you have the listening, um, speaking. You need to have at least 7 in those sections. And many candidates find it incredibly challenging. Also, currently, how it works is if you write the IELTS exams and you don't get the required score, you can rewrite again. You still have to rewrite all the sections, you know, if you do so within six months, then obviously you can kind of club the scores or you can put them together um, and then obviously pass, you know, that way. But still, it's very challenging. The test, many candidates find find it really, really expensive. So the NMC decided to obviously look into this um, and just try to ease these requirements so that more nurses and midwives can move to the UK. And basically, this consultation, the NMC announced that it is the highest number of responses that I've ever had for a consultation in the last decade and you know I feel so incredibly proud for all of you um, that you know went onto the NMC website and actually took part in this consultation and if you're part of the 34,000 please be proud because you would have made an impact not only in your own life but in the lives of the other nurses that are due to come and I think that is a culture that we ought to be encouraging within nursing the fact that we should be implementing change you know even if that change isn't there to affect you as an individual but you should make it easier for people that are coming after you and I think again that is a culture that is that is needed in nursing that needs to be pushed in nursing and that needs to be encouraged within nursing so the nmc is proposing two major changes so the first change is about clubbing of results like of results like we said earlier currently you have to do that within six months so you need to repeat the test within six months but with the proposed change they're pushing that to a year so instead of giving you just six months you know to repeat the test if you don't have all the required scores you will be able to do so um <clears throat> Um, within 12 months. So already the six month period, it may seem for somebody as though it's insignificant, but it's actually very, very significant for these overseas candidates because many people struggle with the financial cost. Because if you check um, the cost of these tests, they are really, really expensive. And if you're earning, say, I don't know, 200 pounds a month, equivalent in your country, and you have to pay a test, you know, maybe double that amount, it can be really challenging saving all of that amount in six months. So 
you know, this is a, a change that is really, really welcome. And I think the NMC, um, I feel so grateful that I've actually considered that. And then the other change also is considering evidence from employers, which means that if you're working in, you know, and speaking obviously English where you work, um, your employer can also give a reference in order to confirm your English capability. And also the NMC is highlighting that um, this is for candidates who have missed the pass grade by a marginal score. Whatever marginal means, I'm not very sure, but obviously we'll wait for Wednesday, the 28th of um, September, which is on the Wednesday, um, to hear what the NMC council decides. And from past experience, um, I think it's, it's highly unlikely that the NMC will present a proposal to its council and the council will reject it. So I am really, really hopeful that we get the best outcome from this test because it's been a hassle. You know, I have a coaching and mentorship program for nurses and many of our nurses um, have really struggled with this test. Some have been incredibly amazing in how they've just smashed it um, at once. But the reality of the fact is that so many nurses struggle with these tests. And I think it is just amazing that the NMC is looking into this, is considering these changes, and it's actually taken you know, the time to run the consultation. And I can imagine how much effort it has actually um, caused. So this is a welcome change. And again, once these proposals are um, passed through the council, what one thing that we now know is that it's going to be implemented from January 2023. So yes, that may seem really far, but the good news is that if they are accepted and the implementation is in January or from January 2023, at least we already know that there is hope. We already know that, you know, there is positive um, change around the corner. So, you know, just stay steadfast. Again, my advice, my advice is to study as hard as possible for these tests. If you want to work in the UK, um, you know, just 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 make sure that you, you, you take the current scores, you know, make sure that you have the highest scores possible. It's not about going for the bare minimum. Um, it's really about having the highest scores that you're able to secure because they just put you in a very comfortable position. This puts you, you know, at ease. You know, this just makes you feel, you feel proud as well, you know, because if you, you know, write the IELTS exam and you come up with like all eights, yes, you've had the required score, but you're going to feel so incredible. You're going to feel so energized because it's not just about just managing um, the bare minimum, but it's always about striving for the top, striving for the best, you know, ensuring that you are your best self because this is also reflected on your nursing journey afterwards because if you're aiming for the best, once you're a qualified nurse in the UK, you're also going to have that ability. You're also going to continue striving for the best when it comes to career progression. And as you know, I'm somebody who is really passionate about career progression because, yes, once you come to the UK, that's very good. But that's not really the end of it because what next? You know, yes, you're going to be band five, but um, you need to progress. Basically, you need to consider are you do you want to become a specialist nurse do you want to become a nurse manager do you want to become an advanced nurse practitioner do you want a nurse endoscopist do you want a nurse anesthetist these are some of the things that i would like you to be reflecting on i would like you to be thinking about um even while you're still in your home country because it's very motivating and it's more focus you know goal oriented once you know that okay i'm moving to the uk i've seen this role i'm not really 100 percent sure what it is but i think i'm interested that means that by the time you get here you're more likely to work incredibly hard you're more likely to be more motivated and to find every challenge as an opportunity because i can tell you that in every challenge lies an opportunity it may sound bizarre but that is just how I see it. If you take everything as a challenge, then it is going to be a challenge. So um, challenge yourself, you know, um, let's wait for what the NMC decides. I'm going to keep you updated. Just make sure that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button so that you're the first to be notified once I drop a video. And, you know, it's just incredible. Again, like I've said with the NMC, um, 
obviously once you've got your nmc registration and all of that you then need to apply for jobs that's another stage of it but the main the main thing is just getting that out oet english test out of the way so again we're waiting on the nmc i'm going to keep you updated um on wednesday with how the nmc is getting on um if you're watching this video after the date then i'm sure that um you know hopefully you'll be in the uk by that time um i cannot wait for us to meet up and um, whether virtually or personally you know i've been i've had the the privilege of meeting um so many of you um overseas nurses who moved to the uk recently um as well and i feel so proud you know when we meet and when you tell me your journey we share our journeys um our experiences um working in this wonderful country that has given us so much um opportunity than we could have ever imagined so again you know it's it's just it's just amazing to know that um so many of 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 my people yes my people um are here now are gonna be coming here it's just so pleasing um you know keep encouraging each other there are friends who are not aware of the process there are friends who are struggling where they are there are friends family you know members relatives who are nurses encourage them um tell them about the pathway tell them about the possibility the opportunity um how they can progress because you know the main reason i moved to the uk as well was because i was keen on career progression because um in many other countries there's not really much that you can do if you're a nurse so you know if you get into nursing in your 20s like i did like some of us have some people got into nursing as teenagers or you know maybe they were 18 or 19 um i was in my early 20s when i got into nursing so Obviously, you know, you want to progress. We've got a long way to your retirement. So let's wait for the NMC, hope for the best and just, you know, watch the channel. Make sure that you're keeping updated, checking up what's going on. You know, leave any comments um, below in the comment section. I'll always reply to all the comments. If you need any more information, I'll provide it. If you want any recommendations for videos that you would like to see, please do so. Thank you so much.